Hey guys, today we're going to make tuna cakes. So, in this bowl, I have celery, onions, and green pepper. So to that, I'm going to add some Larry seasoned salt. Just about a teaspoon. I'm going to add a teaspoon of Old Bay. a teaspoon of this lemon pepper seasoning. Alright. Now this is just for me, so my portions are going to be smaller, but if there's more, you know. So I'm gonna, I have two cans of tuna here. I have the Bumblebee Solid White Albacore, and then I have the Chunk Light Tuna, but you can use whatever tuna you like. So you want to rinse off the can, and, you know, have a little can opener. this cool thing um, you can get it from the grocery store but it's basically for your tuna can or any kind of canned anything um, let me close up here so you can see what it is it looks like a strainer and it's about the size of your can so what you want to do with this is put it on top of your can and you see how all the just like that you want to squeeze it and then you want to turn it upside down and you want to continue to squeeze it and as you can see all the juice is coming out into this bowl and you're going to be left with the tuna which is what we want because we don't want any moisture when we're trying to fry these Ta da! Next thing we're gonna do is take an egg and we're gonna crack it. <laughs> so, let's crack the egg. There you go. Okay, now with this, we just wanna mix this up you know get your hands all dirty and just take some out in your hand and pretty much you just want to form a little ball with it well, it turns up here we go it turns out looking like this Gonna set that down and you know pick up another these can be small or as big as you like trying to make them that big there's another one all right guys here we are as you can see we are just pan frying these. We're not going to deep fry them. So, you want to take a little pan and you want to fill it up maybe about a half or a quarter of the way with oil. I had the heat on high so I turned it down a little lower. And now, what we're going to do is Add the cakes nice and slow. Okay. 
so pretty much what you want to do is let them cook on one side flip them and then they're gonna cook on the other side You're looking for like a goldeny brown crust all right I flipped the case you can see this nice crust that's formed over top of it nice and golden brown and if your oil is hot it's gonna take maybe about a minute or two on each okay. side so what I'm gonna do is take these out and I'm just gonna let them sit and soak some of that oil off so what I have here is a plate with a paper towel on top you can use parchment paper a rack whatever you have and I'm just going to take the cakes out and sit them on top of this plate so they can drain that oil off because you don't want that on your plate. Here you have the cakes on the plate and I'm just going to set that to the side and um, let them cool down. Okay guys, so we're going to make a simple sauce for the tuna cakes. So what we're going to do is take some mayonnaise. I'm just going to take a spoon of that out, put it into a bowl. Got some French's, a little mustard. Let's get some of that out into the bowl and some old bay. All right, so I have a little butter. I let it brown a little bit. I'm just gonna add the corn and the carrots. It was just frozen corn and some shredded up carrots. And to that, I'm just going to add some seasoned salt. Okay, now that we have our plate, we took out our carrots and our corn. I'm going to put that down on the plate. We're going to put down our tuna. And right over top of that, just put down your sauce. 